Howdy brothers and sisters out there in YouTube land. This here is Grateful Panic and I've got another knife review for you guys today. And you got a little sneak peek at something that I was going to premiere in this video. But uh, today we're going to be doing a review of the Spyderco Manix 2. And before we get into that, let's dive down into what did I carry today. And besides this guy, which I've had on me for the past three or four days, I carried the shooty custom fixed blade which i absolutely love this knife i've had it i mean it's been on my hip every day since i got it um i carried the sewanee river uh sodden and i absolutely love that little guy too my uh swiss army knife carry was the victor victor Knox climber and my flashlight carry was the olight S1R Baton 2. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I'm a huge Olight fan. I love, love their products. And I thought, just to give you guys uh, a little insight as, as to how much of an EDC freak I am, I would show you uh, what I carry on my keys every day. And some of you might think it's a little crazy, but hey, I'm a little crazy. So this little conglomerate here is what's on my key ring. Uh, got hand sanitizer because you got to keep sanitized we got the chapstick because you know you don't want to walk around with chap lips uh, we got one of the little o lights um, this model is the uh, i3e eos uh, it's a pretty cool little light i think it they were offering it free with uh, if you paid shipping back last year at uh, black friday um i've got a little swiss light and uh, I actually picked this guy up in a plunder shop, um, and it was marked $3, and the guy actually sold it to me for $2, which I thought was a killer deal, so it's been on my keychain ever since. And uh, I've got one of these on here. It's got a little bottle opener, um, screwdriver, a uh, little nail file with a cleaner, and just a little... little little knife blade in there and the reason I keep this on there is because uh, when I got my first car and my first set of keys uh, my daddy already had my keychain set up with my car key on it and with the key you know a leather keychain and um, had one of these on there and so I you know through the years I ended up losing it and I found this at the same store I found the uh, Swiss light and I said you know what I gotta have one of those and I picked it up and put it on my keychain um so that about covers it for all that mess oh and also the new segment what am i drinking and uh we're just going non-fancy and having a little bit of a uh, hillbilly water in a can but uh that being said let's go ahead and get into this review and uh like i said we're gonna be reviewing the Spyderco Manix 2 and uh, this is a really really cool knife but before we get into uh, how cool it is and I uh, get into the meat and taters we got to get the boring stuff out of the way and get some measurements and weight on this fella we have a closed length of four let's let's say four and three quarters yeah four and three quarters inches we have a fully open length of right at eight inches. <clears throat> We've got a full blade length of three and a half inches and a cutting edge of right at three inches. <clears throat> and weight wise, and I'm going to tell you guys, this thing is super light. I mean, especially for the size it's i mean you're it's like you're carrying nothing uh so ounces wise we are looking at 2.9 ounces and that to me that's insane for a knife of this size i mean less than three ounces and what did i say eight and a half inches fully open i mean that that's crazy and that converts to 83 grams <clears throat> you've got the handle material and let's see if i can get this out because it's quite a mouthful it is fiberglass reinforced fiberglass reinforced copolymer 
um, and it's it's some strong stuff. I mean, this is a sturdy knife for how light it is. Uh, you got stainless steel hardware all the way around. Um, you've got a left or right hand tip up only uh, pocket clip carry. Um, you're looking at a full flat grind blade with satin finish and it's a drop point and this blade is in CTS BD1 uh, blade steel which is uh, it's it's good blade steel and what's really cool is uh, just right down the road from us we actually have a carpenter uh, plant it's called Tally Metals um, and they don't make blade steel they make mostly um, structural steel uh, stainless steel rebar and uh, uh, round and hexagonal bar stock and stuff like that but I just I think it's cool that there's a carpenter plant uh, you know right down the road um, <clears throat> it has this uh, really cool ball bearing lock and the action on this guy is just insane and I know I'm losing my lighting so this may be a little blurry and uh, and whatnot and I'm trying to do that looking through the camera and that's just not working but I mean, you can spotty flick it open. You can uh, use the standard thumb flick. You can spidey drop it. I mean, this is just an insanely uh, smooth action uh, knife, and the lock is so strong. Um, I mean, it's it's just that's a stout lockup right there. It's not going anywhere. And uh, to me, that's just some. I mean, that's some engineering genius right there to come up with this locking mechanism and make it that strong in a light a night a knife that light um i mean that uh, good on you spider co that was i mean that was some good stuff you did there and these things are very reasonably priced um i think about the average pr price is right around 90 dollars. and for what you're getting to me i mean that's a that's a great price um so all in all, definitely this guy right here gets the Grateful Panic seal of approval, which is one and three quarters thumbs up. Um, and also, I failed to mention, I think you guys know if you watch the unboxing, but this is uh, a knife that's very generously on loan from JR, and I appreciate the heck out of that. Um, I mean, between him and JB, uh, <laughs> Those guys have pretty much kept this channel going, and it's made made this a very exciting experience for me. I've, I've really enjoyed doing it, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. And uh, I know we went through that really quickly, but like I said, I'm losing light. Some things came up, and I ended up having to shoot the video a little late. So uh, I'm sorry for the brevity of the video, which actually it might be a good thing because I'm sure you guys don't want to sit around and listen to me ramble on for 15, 20 minutes. So it looks like we're going to keep it under 10 minutes. Um, I just wanted to say we've got some exciting stuff uh, coming up. I still have more uh, knives to review from um, JR's uh, box of goodies. Um, I've got another spider, the Spider Codelica to review from uh, Gonzo's box of goodies and uh, I ended up ordering um, some knives from Blade HQ this weekend so those will be coming in this week and we'll do an unboxing and um, as soon as I can we'll get to a review of those knives and I got some really really insane deals on some Bark River knives um, on the Bark River um, and the Bark River group on Facebook. And if you guys are not members of the uh, Bark River Knives group and you're into fixed blade, if you're into knives general, uh, in general, just go ahead and uh, join that group. There's a really cool group of people in there. It's a really, I mean, it's a really cool group to be in. It's, it's to me, it's like a bigger version of the, the sharp spot. There's no drama. There's no, you know, bickering back and forth. Everybody there is, is just so respectful and just, you know, a bunch of people that love knives. And I mean, if you're looking to get a Bark River knife, if, if you're in the market for one, you, you've never had one, or even if you've got several, 
And if you're looking for one that's no longer in for in production, if you're looking for one and you don't want to pay a uh, full price for it, definitely. I mean, these guys are so accommodating. You can literally drop in the group, make a post and say, I have such and such amount to spend what you guys got. And they will, I mean, respond immediately. They'll be throwing knives at you. Like I've got this for that amount. I've got this for that amount. Um, or you can, you know, post, Hey, I'm, I'm looking for such and such bark river knife. I've got this much to spend. And I mean, the next thing, you know, people are responding with pictures and saying, Hey, I've got this for that price. I mean, it's a great place to uh, meet some really cool people to uh, see some really cool knives. If you're not in the market to buy some really cool knives, if you are in the market and uh, it, I mean, it's just a cool place to go and check out. So, like I said, if you're not a member of uh, bark river knives, go ahead and join that group. I'll post a link to that group in the description. Um, and uh, with all that being said, um, I really appreciate you guys watching. And this is Grateful Panic signing off. And remember, guys, stay alert, stay alive. And hey, how about do something nice for somebody today? Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.